Welcome back and happy Halloween. It's right around the corner. This is Rosani. Let's get started on my little goblin gourd. I begin by outlining one of my papier-mâché little pumpkin blanks. And it's kind of pear-shaped. You can use any shape you like. This is from my Etsy listing. I'll leave a link in the description. Now you can see here that I'm adding push pin eyes. Yep, I papier mache right over the push pins. So I'll outline all these little features for my creature. And they are fun creature features. And I begin with the orange. I just slather it on. And this little mini pumpkin begins to transform. Color by color, step by step. You can use any colors that you like. You can see I'm working on the front. It's going to take time to dry, so I want to get as many details onto the front as I can. Here comes the black, and this is very important. Because it makes quite a contrast. And I want to make the features stand out as much as possible. And look at his little smile. He's so happy. Looks like he's having fun. I know I'm having fun. Okay, let's add some yellow highlights here. Yeah. There we go. He's looking. I hope you'll stay till the end. We have a few more colors to go. Uh, let's add some more orange. Darken it up a bit. Yeah. Even though I'm doing this on a small scale, feel free to do this on larger pieces. And the neat thing about my little blanks is that you can papier-mâché on top of them. You can even use papier-mâché clay. And uh, you can add all kinds of things to it. Just use your imagination. Now I'm going to paint some green on the eyeballs. I also added more green to the stem, which I had painted earlier, but it needed to be darker. And just adding some other accents around it. Have fun with adding colors that you like. And just have a good time with it. Here comes some more yellow. I really appreciate you being here. And I'd like to say, welcome if this is your first time here. I normally don't make videos that are quite this long. But I wanted to show you as much of this process as I could. Halloween is my favorite season. That's when I bring out all of my little pumpkin projects and my creatures. It's so much fun. Now, I was talking about adding the black. It makes it pop. That's what I wanted to do. For the newcomers to this channel, I'd like you to visit my playlists and see what I've done with uh, the other pumpkin gourds. And I've made larger pumpkins as well. I think you'll enjoy the variety, and I hope that you'll give my techniques a try. Here we go. We're nearing the finale. Look at that. He looks so spooky. Kind of creepy cute, right? <laughs> Well, I certainly had fun with it. I hope you will, too.
Let's add some lavender now for a few finishing touches to the eyeballs. And then I added some speckles and I did the back off camera, of course, because I didn't have much time, but there he is. I hope you like him. Thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching and bye for now.